video my name is molly and it's good to see you today don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe right what am i going to be talking about or showing you today i will be talking about a, a incident that took place in uh, in somalia in 2016 um, where the government had decided or made an announcement that they were going to send um 50, 000 domestic workers to um, the Saudi to go and work um, so I in my opinion I don't think that was a good move and I don't think that's really a good move because um, well there's a young lady who was interviewed I'll show you a video clip uh, from the global business um, business news where they interview a lady a young lady by the by the name of Zaina and she speaks about the opportunity she's excited to go there well she's quite interested and one other young lady who was also interviewed is not interested because of the um, obviously the human rights and the way they do not respect um, them in other countries. Well, there's no rights. They, they don't have human rights or anything. They abuse human rights. So the, one of the young lady is, or oh, um, she would rather stay at home and open up a business. And I think that she's the smartest girl. Um, she's smart. Well, that's, that's my opinion. I think that is so smart for her to say that. But then the government is... What, why would your government send 50,000 young ladies, beautiful young ladies, with so much talent and so much future that um, to go and work in another country when it doesn't, mean, it doesn't mean Somalia doesn't have enough resources to look after them or um, anything else? Is that the only option? Is that the last resort? Is that the only thing that's going to help these young ladies go to, to the Saudi, go and work as domestic workers. Right, you judge for yourself. Um, I just want you to watch the clip and tell me what you think about it. It's a very interesting clip. And then don't forget to like and to share and to comment. Zainab Abdullah is a cleaner in this apartment in Mogadishu. She doesn't earn much, but she's happy at least she is employed. Recently, Saudi Arabia opened its doors to Somali domestic workers. Zainab has already shown interest in this offer. Her hope, a better salary and better working standards in the Arab country. This initiative by Saudi Arabia and Somali authorities will reduce the migration of Somalis. It's a good move, one that I'm interested in. If I'm to work in Saudi legally, then I'm ready. At least I'll make more money there than here. But her friend Sueda is opposed to this move. She's happy being a domestic worker in Somalia. Her main concern, Saudi Arabia's human rights record. I am a day laborer here in my own country. I'm opposed to this new move. I don't want other Somali girls either to be taken to Saudi Arabia. My message to them is open a small business venture other than working in Saudi Arabia. But Somali authorities, happy with this new agreement, see this as an opportunity for thousands of skilled and semi-skilled laborers. And aware of Saudi human rights record, they say that they have a mechanism in place that will monitor violation of the workers' rights in Saudi Arabia. We will never accept any rights violation against any of the laborers we send to Saudi Arabia. As a ministry, we will open up centers where these laborers can come and present to us any violation of their rights by their employers. Already, Kenya and Ethiopia have cancelled work visas for about 50,000 housemates heading to Saudi Arabia because of labor and human rights violations. But Somalia feels it enjoys more privilege than these two countries. Both Saudi Arabia and Somalia are members of the Arab League. The arrangement we have now with Saudi authorities is 50,000 workers each year. This is one of the ways the Somali government is creating job opportunities for the thousands of skilled and semi-skilled professionals in the country. Once they arrive in Saudi Arabia, these domestic workers will be working in apartments like this in different cities all across Saudi Arabia. Now experts say that monitoring such a huge number of domestic workers will be a major challenge. But Somali authorities here say they will hold Saudi authorities accountable for any human rights violation. Right, so what do you think about the clip? Right, don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe and to comment. Tell me what you think about this. 
is it right was it right for the somali gov government to send fifty thousand um domestic workers to um the saudi or was it not right what's your opinion about this especially in these days that we're living in is it okay for a country to send their young ladies who will actually contribute to who would i would prefer they would stay in their own country and um come up with ideas or do something that will help their family and improve the economy of somalia so thank you for watching the clip i'll see you later